Hi guys, I'm Vintage Sims, and today we are playing chapter 22, I believe, of the Sims Force American Settlers Challenge. Today is a big day because we are now at the 1880s. Heck, yes, bitch. We have made it to the 1880s. So, as you can see, I have updated the home a lot and moved us to a different lot even so I will get into that in a few minutes and into the family updates um but before that I figure I should probably talk to you a bit about the 1880s and what is going to be different so let me get into that so this decade is called the second industrial revolution and my little like bio thing about it is the year is 1880 and advancements in technology have led to the widespread adoption of rail, rail come on railroads gas heating telegraph networks and proper sewage systems that's right people flock to the cities to experience the wonder this is the second industrial revolution so shit was happening we are now allowed to have toilets also, I just realized I left their household funds really high, so I will fix that when I come back into the game. Anyways, for the rules, we have first the building rules. After the Industrial Revolution, many Americans gave up the farm life and moved to the city. From now on, you may move your sims to another lot as long as it is fitting for the decade. So, as you can see, I moved us to a more, um, I guess closer to the city and closer to other people as before we were kind of living like deep in the woods. Your single sims may live in apartments now but have to return to the family home once they are married. The hard times are over for now and you have some extra simoleons you may to decorate your home with wallpaper so I did put a lot of wallpaper in this house. Indoor plumbing was gaining popularity among the upper class Americans. You may now have indoor plumbing. Oh, wait. You may not have indoor plumbing unless you have 50,000 simoleons or more. So we had about like 80,000 when we started. So I took that when I built the house. If you entered the 1880s with less than 50,000, then you cannot have indoor plumbing in the house until you have more than 50,000. Carpet is gaining popularity. You may use carpet in your house now. I didn't use any because I don't like carpet. I'm a wood floor kind of girl, but I'll probably put carpet in the houses later on in, you know, future decades. And now we are allowed to have phonographs. Heck yeah. So we can finally listen to music. Thank God. Okay, so lifestyle. Men may join the business career. Um, I'm not going to go into all the branches that they can, but they can have jobs now. I guess they could in the 1870s, but I didn't do it because I also hate having jobs. Um, okay, so men may join the business career, criminal career, writer career, gardener career, and then I have linked a law career and architecture career. If a woman becomes widowed, then she may earn money through painting, gardening, flower arranging, beekeeping, candle making, or by joining the entertainment career or the education career, which is a mod. Things are going better for your sims. All sims aging into teen or adult during this decade may, may take, must take, on one of these traits, self-assured, genius, perfectionist, ambitious, materialistic, Tinkerer, which is a mod, and Handy, which is a mod. There are um, other ones that's just kind of showing that, like, if you have mods that kind of fit this, you know, thing, then you can use those as well. This is a very pro-mod um, challenge. Sims may now get married on another lot and throw wedding parties at home. You may visit or open historically accurate shops. Men may now visit bars with Victorian decor. And then children, you can now bottle feed your babies, but breastfeeding is still recommended. Male teenagers who aren't going to high school may start going to work. The, there is a mod that allows teens to join the adult career tracks, and I have that linked. 
So that is pretty much everything for the 1880s. It's not super hard. I know the last few decades were pretty difficult. So this one is kind of more just like living your life, making some money, having a good time. Um, and not s the next few generations are like that. And then we kind of go into like World War One and World War II and the Depression and things like that. So... We're gonna have like a good time for a while. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys the house and then I will show you guys the Sims. And I haven't updated the children yet because they age up like today. So I'm, you know, I'll do that later. So this is the front of the house. I am super proud of this house. Let me tell you what, it took me so long to make this because I kept trying to make the house and was never happy with the, um, style of it I remade it so many times so to be happy and be done with it is like a miracle <laughs> um yeah I'm really proud of like the landscaping that I did I never really liked the landscaping I always feel like I do weird stuff so I'm pretty proud of it I love brick I love how tall it is um I don't know if you guys know this you might know this but I love symmetrical houses so I tried not to make it too symmetrical, but yeah. So here we are, we're going into the front door. And then we come in to this long-ish hallway. I'll show you guys, the, you know, from the front door. So it's pretty simple in here. But then we go off into the, I guess it would be the sitting room. I don't really know all the names for the rooms, but. This is the room and we still don't have, you know, lighting yet. Oh, I need to delete those. Um, we'll just pretend those aren't there for now. <laughs> no, actually I have to, no, I'm gonna pretend they aren't there. Okay, we're just gonna pretend they aren't there. Okay, no, I have to take them out. Okay, now there are no lights out there and they feel better and it is a lot darker in this hallway. <laughs> but that's fine, it's fine. Um, so, this is the sitting room, I guess. There's not much going on in here. There's some bookshelves, a fireplace, obviously seats, quite a few seats so everyone can just sit in here and kind of talk. I added this phono phonograph. I don't know, I can't remember the name of it right now. But yeah, I added one of those. Here we have Missy's, um, what is it called, urn. We have Missy's urn over there. And yes, that's pretty much it for this room. I really like this room. It's the first one that I made and I'm really proud of it. I think it's super cute. I tried not doing everything super dark or super light. Like I tried to use like wood mixed in with like lighter wallpapers. I didn't want it to feel like gothic -y or anything. I didn't want it to also be too nice or too shabby because they're just like slowly moving up in the world and they're coming from a farmhouse so this house is really nice for them but it's not like insanely nice like the one I had made before. <laughs> so this is the hallway. I guess we'll go into the bathroom real quick. Get it over with. This is their bathroom. It's just a sink and a toilet, a mirror, a picture on the wall. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really cute and sweet. So then this is, I don't know what this room would be called, <laughs> but this is where they do things. So we have like an area to paint. I love this elephant. It reminded me of Moulin Rouge, which is like set nearish this time. I think it's set in 1899. So, you know, a few years off, but the Moulin Rouge had a big elephant place, like apartment place in it. Um, so then we just have another fireplace, some seating. We have the piano in here. We have some music sheets, um, the violin, a place to play chess, another phonograph. And it's really cute in here as well. I like the green wallpaper. This is obviously a mod but green pot wallpaper was really popular. I've probably talked about it in other videos, but they made it with arsenic and then people were getting like super, super sick from all the arsenic and their wallpaper, but it was like this big 
um, it was like this big thing where um, wallpaper companies were like, it's fake, people are just lying to you and trying to get you to not buy wallpaper and blah blah blah, but it like a big conspiracy theory, but it actually turned out to be real. Um, I just realized I didn't put like any art on these walls, so I might do that later. But here is the dining room. Super cute dining room. So, um, yeah, we have like the reddish wood walls. We have this really cute table in here with the flowers and a candle next to it, which isn't very safe, but whatever. We have some seating. What is this like line on the wall here? Is it something from the outside? No. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, whatever. It's just like a ghost line. Um, so yeah, we have some seating, a fireplace, some plants. We have the urns of everyone who has died in the past because there wasn't really room for a, um, a cemetery here, a graveyard. And then we just have these random things over here on this table. And yeah, that is it. And then this leads out to the hall and then... You can either go through this store or this store to get to the kitchen, which I'm like super proud of. Also, no one's ever gonna use this dining room because I put a table over here, but oh well. I thought it looked really cute with the table over there. Um, so when you walk into the kitchen, we have this cabinet over here. It has like fancy dishes in it. Um, oh, oh. There's no wallpaper there. Okay, we'll come back to that because there's a few things we need to fix up around the house. That leads to the back door. Um, we have the gardening area over there, the greenhouse. So you have this like cute little table over here that fits six people at it. And then you walk over here to the kitchen. Oh, there's some food that I couldn't get rid of, that I couldn't sell. Um, and then this is our kitchen, and it's so freaking cute. I love it so much. I hate making kitchens, and I was having so many issues. My roommate was here, and I was like, I'm going to die. I cannot make this kitchen. It's driving me insane. But then I did it, so it was, like, painful to her, like for her to watch me make the kitchen, too. She was like, I don't know how you're doing this. She obviously doesn't play The Sims, but she was, like, very overwhelmed by just watching me make this kitchen. In retrospect, this kitchen looks like shit. Why are the cabinets so high? No one could ever reach those cabinets. This is very stupid and I hate it. Um, thank you. Cool. So that was the kitchen. And then we have the greenhouse, which I freaking love. So we have the ceiling up here that is see-through glass. Then we have some of our more expensive plants in here. We're not gonna have a huge garden because we're already making quite a bit of money. But we do want Horace to be able to garden. And then we have an area to paint over there as well for Beatrice. And then when you come out here, here is the backyard. There's not a whole lot going on out here, but we do have some, I believe, cherry trees over there as well. Here is the back of the house. I guess I can show you guys the back of the house real quick. Here is the back of the house. Super cute. I'm actually really impressed with my building skills here. It only took me like two weeks to make the house, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go through to the upstairs now. I love these stair carpets, stair, stair carpets, stair rugs. I don't know what they would be called. So this is the landing when you first get up the stairs. You can go out the store and, you know, paint. You can also look down and see Horace in their gardening. And you can look out the city, which is like super freaking cute. And then this is what it looks like in here. I wish you could cover this like white spot. I know that there's mods for it, but I just kind of forgot to get it. So whatever. Also there's Things showing through over there. Okay, so I guess we will go into the bathroom first. This is the bathroom. Oh, it's so cute in here. I totally forgot how cute it was. 
So yeah, I think it's the same wallpaper as the other bathroom and pretty much the same things in here. A little place to sit, a little bucket to bring your water. There is not a fireplace in here because I could not fit one, but they can go to another room and bring the water. Like They can go get it from the stove top or something. Um, then we have the office, which is for our heir, Francis, to use since he wants to be a writer. So we have this typewriter over here. Um, I'm going to lock the room so no one can get in it except for him. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I will. I just don't want people using the computer all the time because it's technically a computer, but I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, this is a really cute room. I love it. It's like really tiny, but it's perfect for just writing in and I hope they can get to the fireplace from that. I don't know. And then we have another phonograph in here for him to listen to. And then we'll go see the girls' room, which is so cute. I gave them, like, the cutest room. Um, so this is their room. I love it so much. They have a little fireplace, some plants. Um, so I'm just going to pretend that the teddy bear is historically accurate because it looks cute. But I guess teddy bears weren't invented till like, I think the 1900s because of Teddy Roosevelt. Is that who it was? I think so. I just had to do research on it for work the other day because we had to do a teddy bear project. So, um, here we are with the girls' bedroom. Pretty much one of my favorite, my favorite rooms in the house. Then we're going into Francis's room. I really like his room as well. It's very bright in here. I guess I do have a lot of, like, candles and stuff. But here is his room. I really like his room. Um, I'm hoping that it's not too, like, feminine. I mean, these are not helping a lot for the feminine factor, but feminine isn't bad. So, yeah, this is his room. I really like it a lot. When I was, like, doing the house, I was, like, half asleep. So I came back the next day to be like, oh, gosh, what have I done? And I, like, came into this room, and I was like, oh, my God. I love this room. <laughs> I love it so much so yeah that's how I feel about that room this is the parents room and it's like so gigantic it does not need to be this big but I ended up making it this big on accident so it just is um so this is when you first come in we have you know their dresser over here oh wait is that Missy oh that's Missy's urn I don't know what the one downstairs is then I guess it's not an urn <laughs> I was like that's a weird place for me to put it um, so this is their bedroom. It's pretty simple in here. Um, I do have this above the door because they're like, you know, probably Christians. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but, you know, I have a Bible over here. His parents were religious, so I figure they're like passing that down. And we just have some pictures on the walls, more area for painting because Beatrice loves painting. And then let's go into the final bedroom, the boys' bedroom, which I'm gonna say is probably my least favorite room. <laughs> um, I just, it's not my, it's not my favorite. It's pretty like bare in here, not bare. It's just, it's all right. It's not bad. But yeah, this is the boys' room. Um, I'm gonna say the boys' room is a little phone in actually, but it's for cute. I, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I'm just picky about anything I create, you know? But yeah, that is the house right now. And then I will go through the Sims and then I think we'll age up the kids. So, I mean, at least so the toddlers can have, or the toddler can like sleep in a bed. Okay, so this is Beatrice. So I wanted to give them outfits that weren't what they were wearing before and make them look like a little bit fancier. They might not be um, super historically accurate in every way, so I'm, I apologize about that. But I didn't want them to just wear the exact same things. So they might be wearing like more risque things. I think the things I'm having the girls wear are more of like nighttime outfits but whatever they don't they don't give a shit um so that yeah this is Beatrice's outfit I also want to say I don't have variations for them because there aren't that many clothes I could put them in for this decade so they're pretty much just wearing the same thing every day 
So we have like the bustle makes your butt look big. That was very popular. Um, I did make their waist look smaller so they looked more defined in their dresses because that was the point of them. Um, she just looks real pretty. You know I love Beatrice, she's my fave. And then she has this nice necklace, pretty earrings. I made them look like they're like less tired than before because they have more money now, so they're doing a lot better. Um, so then we just have her sleepwear, which is a little fancier than last time. Her summer wear is the same as her everyday, and then winter is just adding longer gloves and a fur. So yeah, that is Beatrice. Then we have our Air Francis. They're all in their winter clothes, but I think it's like spring. I don't know. So this is Francis. He is so cute. I love him. I love his little mustache. I love his little monocle. It's so cute. His black curly hair, his little outfit. Like he's looking real good. And then I have his formal outfit for when he gets married. Um, I have his sleepwear, which he looks super cute in. His summer is pretty much his everyday, but slightly different patterned. And then cold weather, you guys saw earlier, but this is his cold weather. So yeah, he's super cute, looking dapper as heck. And I'm excited to play him. And then we have Eleanor. Um... So this is her every day. Look at that bustle. Boom, baby. It's tight little snatched little waist. This is her face. She is like the prettiest sim ever. I cannot handle how pretty she is. And I love this hair so much on her. So yeah, she takes after her mom a lot, obvi. She's wearing this like red dress. Um, did I give her formal? I believe I did. I just gave her the same dress and white for when she gets married. So, so pretty. Um, her sleeping outfit is the same as her mom's because I, you know, I never want to be able to tell them apart. It's my biggest goal in life. And then her cold weather is like the same situation as her mom's, just longer gloves and a fur. Um, then we have Horace, our baby Horace. And this is his everyday. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Does it, did I give him this? No. I just kept it the same because we'll probably never wear it. Um, his sleepwear. Did he get fatter? He might have gotten fatter because his arms can't even like fit around his belly right now. Um, his hot weather is the same as his everyday. And then he's a fancy lot. I feel like this is too fancy for just, you know, I don't know. His son's outfit isn't as, as fancy as this. Maybe we'll give him something a little less fancy. Why do his arms look so weird like that? Is that the same as his son's outfit? I don't think it is. I think he has like a sweater. Look how like trim and cute he is. Yeah, so that's his outfit. And then his outfit would be this. Why is he, <laughs> why are his arms like sucked into him? Okay, anyways, that is everyone. And they're all freaking cute as heck. So I will age up everyone. I'm gonna have mom make a cake in a second and then we can age everyone up and then we can move on with our lives. Um, I do need to make some little minor adjustments to things real quick before we start playing though. Okay, so I added in the 1890s. The issue is I was gonna have it this day on the 20th day, but it is Winterfest. So I added it the day before Winterfest. Um, then we could like move into a nice house and have a fancy little Winterfest there, I guess. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now we can like begin, which is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna have mom go make a cake. Actually, maybe we could have Eleanor go make a cake. So then she can learn how to make one. Let's do a chocolate cake. 
How is she feeling? Okay, she's fine. And it is six in the morning. Wow. You can go water all the plants and talk to some plants. Mom can bring the baby upstairs. I guess we can get him some food. Everyone's so sad. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. You guys are going to be sad for two days. So maybe, can he write like sad stuff? <laughs> Um, what does he want to do actually with his writing career? Write two books and write for an hour while inspired. So let's do write a genre book, children's, I guess. We'll write a very sad children's book. She's cooking. He is hungry. Is this bad? That's fine. Okay, go actually. Let's put that in the babies and Harold's thing and then she can go I don't know <laughs> she's like fine we can have her go play the piano okay and everyone disperse we can go put the baby down no pick them up don't check the toddler Go right, my love. Okay, go to the kitchen. Why can't she not pick the, pick the toddler up? Well, I guess you can go practice the violin or something. <laughs> I'm having so many issues, like why? Why can you not? Bring your child over here. Thank you. I was like, why is she walking so fast? Did she make did she make the cake? Did did you make the cake? Oh my gosh. This is going horribly already. Oh, she can't get to it? You can't get to it? Is it cause, is it cause this is in the way? The fun parts of trying to figure out where things in your kitchen can go. Okay, how about now? Oops, how about now? Okay, no. <laughs> is this it? Is it that? Plate stuck underneath of it. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, we got that dealt with. Okay, we are off to a grand start. Okay, good. The baby's eating. All of his plants look swell. Did you not make the cake still? Still? Okay, I'm going to watch her. I'm going to watch you make the cake because I'm concerned. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And there we go. Okay. Dad, come. Come. Help Harold blow out some candles. You can go here. You can go here. You're already going over there. You can go here. We shouldn't have had to break that house because I think she was. And you can go here. Oh yeah, sorry. I meant you. Yeah, I'll never be able to tell these people apart. Harold, everyone, so sad. Oh, there's like things on the ground over there. Can you maybe like put more candles on this before anyone gets to it? And Harold aged up. So we are going to see what traits they have. 
So we're going to use this little guy and he got the natural artist. That's awesome. So I guess we can give him the creativity aspiration. Perf. Okay, if anyone goes to eat that cake, I will... No! God damn you. Oh, Cletus and Crawford sent a gift. Okay, well everyone just eat the cake then, I guess. Beatrice, you can go make a cake now because I'm not putting your daughter through this again. Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, I forgot who that was. Okay, we'll change their outfit as soon as the twins get aged up. Does anyone else need to eat? Anyone? Okay, you can go to bed. Just actually, you probably don't know which bed you're going to. And I'm not 100% sure either. She can have this bed. Claim, go to sleep. Francis is having a good old time with the boys. Oh no, where are you going? Did you just, where's the cake? Where did you put the cake? I am upset. <laughs> okay. Stop. Everyone stop what you're doing. Hurry. Hurry before someone goes over there. Okay. You. You run over there. Cause it's your birthday. It is their birthday, right? Oh, fuck. I thought it said their birthdays were tomorrow. Oh no. Well, shit. Cause it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Little boy. Get back over here. And William aged up. So now he is active and mean. Well, <laughs> that's that's a good one. Um, okay, and then we will pick an aspiration for him. Okay, so I gave him the public enemy aspiration. So he wants to be a famous criminal. I don't think that's possible right now, but he can do that eventually, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're not really going to play with him much anyways, so we'll just let him, let him live his best life. Look how bad he looks right now. Okay, and then we are going to age up Claudette. Come on over, Claudette, and then I will give them cute-ass little makeovers, and it'll be so grand. Oh, I for I forgot that I have to choose their traits out of something. Okay, well, one sec. Okay, so I gave Claudette, well, she ended up randomly getting a perfectionist. And so she's a perfectionist and rebellious, and she's a renaissance sim, which kind of goes with her rebellious nature, is she wants to be educated and know about a lot of stuff. Oh boy, Claudette, girl. Okay, so I need to fix William's info because he uh, got the wrong trait. So <laughs> I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay, so this is William with a makeover. I gave him pretty much the same outfit as his brother. He has a different mustache and different hair as well. His face is a little wider and rounder. I actually really, really like his face. He's really handsome. Like, I would not have minded him as the heir either. Um, so he wants to be fabulously wealthy. He's active and self-assured. And then I gave him this walk, which would make his grandpa proud because Grandpa Darby was a, you know, a bad bitch. So that is his everyday. I gave him the, um, 
vest that Francis was wearing for his warm weather outfit, and then I just gave Francis the same um, vest for his everyday in warm weather, so they weren't like wearing each other's clothes. So then we have this formal. Oh, I forgot to update his lips. I was like, something around his mouth looks odd. Um, forever giving my Sims weird chapped lips. Okay, so that's his formal. This is his sleepwear. He cares a lot more about like money and looking fancy and dapper than Francis does. Um, this is his, you know, Warm weather, it's the same as every day. And then this is his cold weather, and he likes to be fancy. I feel like I should change his hat though. I don't know, should I give him? I will give him maybe this. Yeah, we'll give him that hat, because he wants to look fancy. So there is William, I actually really like William. So then this is Claudette, and I also really freaking love Claudette. She is so cute, and she looks so good in this green. She does have kind of a funky chin, but we'll just pretend that's not a thing. So again, she is a renaissance sim. She's rebellious and a perfectionist. This is her wedding outfit, which I think is pretty much exactly the same as her sister's. This is her sleepwear. Her hair actually looks kind of odd, so maybe I'll update her hair real quick. Because <laughs> I'm like, eh, it doesn't look as good as I remember it looking. I'll just give her this big curly hair. There we go. Keep that curl in the family. So that's her sleepwear, her everyday. So I'm dumb, and I realized there were different colors, like tons of different colors of this dress, so I updated, um... Be, uh, not Beatrice. I updated Eleanor's outfit too. So I'll show you that in a second. So this is her warm weather and then her cold weather. This thing makes the flowers weird, but we're just gonna pretend that it doesn't. Okay, and then he is pretty much the same except for the vest. So this is still her every day, but I made this her summer outfit and then this her winter outfit and then we can go down to Harold's and so this is Harold's everyday outfit this is his sleepwear oh we have this too his body looks so tiny to me hot weather is basically the same and winter is the same except with gloves so this is everyone all made over we did it Okay, so everyone, woof, everyone's supposed to be at school right now. Um, aspiration completed. William. Wow, he already did it. <laughs> oh no, it's because I have too much money. Okay, wait, let's give him money. 80,000. There we go. Okay, well, we'll give him a new give him this one dang it <laughs> oh no William is like doing too many he wants to purchase Collins okay well we'll, we'll be fine now he's having too good of a life already <laughs> Okay, William, you can claim this bed as your own, and then you can take a nap. I guess technically they should be going to school. Okay, we'll just get everyone things to do. Gosh, I love the house so much. I don't need to like clean this stuff up off the ground, which I'll do in a bit. So we can put all the cakes away. And mom, you can come cook a grand meal come cook a ham dinner oh now we can eat whatever we want which is great so we're gonna be eating like big ass fancy meals all the time now um so we'll have him go to the bathroom and go take a bath and then maybe we can have him go claim his bed 
and then we can have him practice some writing. I'm glad that everyone's feeling a little bit better. Um, Eleanor is sleeping. Claudette is up here. You can come claim this. Cry it out. And then I guess you can take a nap. Everyone's just real tired right now. Yeah, and you can talk to your dad. Look at her like whizzing that bowl around over there. And he's just like, my children, my babies are growing up. Oh, um, they're so cute. And he has such a good relationship with all of his kids too. I'm pretty sure he has like a great relationship with everyone in his family. He even had an okay relationship with Theodore, so. Yeah, he's, he's doing pretty good. And everyone's dead. How do I know? Oh, the family tree. Someone was asking me to do the family tree. Wait, Darby had parents? <laughs> I don't think he did. Okay, so Edith. Um, Edith, deceased, death by old age. She had Rosemary, Cletus, Horace, Crawford, and Charlotte. And then she married Daryl <laughs> and had this kid with this crazy hat. So Malachi, Terrence, and Zachariah. Wait. I don't know. This is too confusing. So I gave up on doing that really quickly and I promise I'll do it in the next video. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's the situation. Oh my God. He's gonna be an elder soon. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that to me. He's my baby. He's my pride and joy. You can't kill him, okay? You can't do it. I won't allow it. And she has so much longer. No, I won't allow it. Oh my gosh. Everyone's gonna be so sad when he dies. Like so sad, like so, so sad. Like he, he's like best friends with everyone. Oh my gosh. So everyone's just taking some naps. He's gonna go cry it out now. Mom, you're great. You're doing great. You're a great cook. Oh man, that's making me hungry. Even though I'm vegetarian, I'm like, oh, that ham. <laughs> that ham, though, what's making me hungry. So he's feeling good. What can we have him focus on? I should have kept like a woodworking table for him or something. Maybe I will put one of those on the backyard real quick. Just so he can have something to work on. He can get the handiness skill up. And I will have to make them some people or like look around town for some um, people for them to marry, which I will do later. Well, maybe we'll work on that the next episode. This is gonna be a pretty, maybe short episode just because I spent so much time explaining what the challenge is. There we go. Okay, so we'll have him come work on that kind of stuff. Oh, people are actually going to eat at the dining room table. Wow, fancy. And of course the table is made. Oh, she doesn't even know how sad she's gonna begin, or begin, <laughs> how sad she's gonna be when he dies. Oh, also I added paintings on the walls over there. Paintings of food, of course. Oh, what a cute little family. They're like so fancy. Oh, look how excited they are about the 1880s. They're like, finally, we're not living in squalor. I would have him come eat, but he's like not hungry, so we'll just have him work on other things. I mean, I guess he can eat. I need to nap, there's gonna be any food 
left because we have what seven people now yeah so everything's going pretty well um i think i'm going to end this episode right here i know it's been kind of like a really short episode it was not but we've got everything pretty much set up like life is good for them right now except the impending doom of the parents dying soon but in the next episode we're going to try to find some um future spouses for everyone and that'll be real fun i'm actually like more really excited about that so i'm gonna work on making some people for them to marry is he yelling at everyone who's yelling Girl, go to the bathroom. That fur is like glitching them out quite a bit. Um, I bet she's just happy she doesn't have to be pregnant for a while. Girl, there's a bathroom right there. Can she not use the bathroom for some reason? I don't know why I'm like following her to the bathroom. I just wanna make sure everything's working. So yeah, um, this is a good place to stop, partially because my roommate's gonna be home soon. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited about this new generation right now. I'm really proud of the house and the family and how everyone's looking besides this like weird ring around her neck. Um, so things are just, things are looking up right now. Who's calling us? Go away. So I'm actually going to end it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Go ahead and like this video, leave a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, sorry for not putting out videos more often lately. I've been having some personal stuff going on that's kind of been hindering that. So please forgive me. All right. Have a great day, guys. And bye.